Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to fix the Van 9003 error in Valorant. This error message says, this version of Vanguard requires secure boot to be enabled in order to play Valorant. If you're seeing this message, don't worry, you've come to the right place. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is find the Valorant icon on your desktop or in your list of programs. Once you've located it, right click on the icon. A menu will pop up with several options and you need to select Open File Location. This will take you to the main game directory where all the important game files are stored. Now that you're in the game directory, you'll see the Valorant executable file. This is the file that launches the game. Right click on this exe file and then click on Properties from the menu that appears. A new window will open up showing various tabs. Click on the Compatibility tab. In the Compatibility tab, select Change Settings for All Users. Then you'll find an option that says, Run this program in compatibility mode for. You'll see a checkbox next to it. Make sure to tick this box. Once you've done that, you'll need to select Windows 8 from the drop down menu that appears. By doing this, you're telling your computer to run Valorant in a way that's compatible with Windows 8, which can sometimes help resolve issues like the Van 9003 error. While you're still in the compatibility tab, look for another option that says, Run this program as an administrator. This is another checkbox that you need to tick. Running the program as an administrator gives Valorant the permissions it needs to function properly. After you've ticked both checkboxes, click on Apply and then OK to save your changes. With these settings adjusted, let's move on to the next step. You need to open your computer's settings. You can do this by clicking on the Start menu and selecting the gear icon or by typing Settings into the search bar. Once you're in the Settings menu, look at the list on the left side and click on Privacy and Security. From the Privacy and Security section, find and select Windows Security. This will take you to a new page where you can manage your computer's security settings. On this page, look for the Virus and Threat Protection option and click on it. This section is crucial because it helps protect your computer from malware and other threats. Under the Virus and Threat Protection settings, you'll see an option to manage settings. Click on Manage Settings to access more detailed security options. If for any reason you previously disabled these settings, make sure to turn them back on. Having these protections enabled can prevent many potential issues, including the one causing the error in Valorant. Now that you've taken care of the security settings, go back to the main settings page. This time, click on Windows Update. Keeping your Windows operating system up to date is essential, as updates often contain important fixes and improvements. Click on Check for Updates to see if there are any available updates for your system. If there are, install them and let your computer restart if necessary. Once you've finished updating your system, the next thing you'll need to do is restart your PC. Restarting is a simple yet effective way to apply all the changes you've made. When your computer shuts down and you see the startup screen, quickly press the delete key on your keyboard. This key is used to enter the BIOS settings. Inside the BIOS settings, you'll need to locate an option called Secure Boot. The interface might look different depending on the type of motherboard your computer uses. In my case, the Secure Boot option is located in the Advanced Mode under the Boot section. Look around until you find it, and once you do, make sure to enable Secure Boot. Enabling this setting is crucial to resolving the Van Nort 9003 error. While you're in the BIOS, be careful not to change any other settings. Altering other settings can lead to unexpected issues. Once you've enabled Secure Boot, save your settings and exit the BIOS. Your PC will then start up as it usually does. Now, with everything set up correctly, go ahead and launch Valorant. This time, you should be able to start the game without encountering the Van 9003 error. However, if you're still facing issues, feel free to leave a comment below, and I'll do my best to help you out. If you found this guide helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel for more tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.